Good morning, guys. Um, the news was good. I've had a, an epic um, last couple of days since finding out. Um, yeah, the news was amazing. It's not spread. Um, I don't, don't see him buzzing. I have been very, very uh, buzzing about it. The way it's broke to you is, and I hope you all experience it one day, is, is a little bit different now. Um, it's not the, the way you expect it. Um, in terms of you know a big oh you've got the all clear kind of celebration thing uh, because there is treatment there is still treatment I need uh, despite it, it not being anywhere else now uh, I'll just explain that um, there was uh, something on the CT scan which was just swollen glands in the stomach uh, which it said can be perfectly normal after what you've had um, so what they do now is it, it, it was it was a basically it was a it was a tumor, it was confined to the testicle. Uh, it's not spread. Um, so what they will do next is in over the next three weeks, I'll be having tests again to check that my kidney can get rid of um, the chemo drug that they're going to put into me. Um, as long as that can happen then we'll be good to go. Also, they've talked about um, freezing sperm because um, although it's not, um, you know, it's not 100% that it would damage anything, um, there, there is that, that chance. So they'll be doing that, which I think is just a, um, just a routine, really. Uh, so that'll be happening as well. Uh, what I was worried about is at the Christie, um, when they were discussing this, he hadn't received a letter from my doctor so or from the hospital so it's always worth checking up on that he had no idea about it and I've made him aware of it and um, he's hopefully looking into it but a bit of a worry uh, but then I suppose there's a lot of things going on um, so so there's that um, so yeah blood tests and different things to check the kidney function and then in three weeks time I will have what is basically a one shot of chemo uh, and what they do is uh, you go there for half a day and they drip feed uh, the drug into you, into your wrist or into your back of your hand over an hour. Uh, it's drip fed into you. Um, pretty much it. Um, so it's drip fed into you. That's how they feed it into you. Uh, and they said you'll just you'll feel like shit for two weeks. Maybe you'll need a bit of time off work because you'll just feel like you're ill. Uh, which in the grand scheme of things, I'm not. I don't care. Like okay. Um, that's how they do that. The the test they do for the blood test to find out the kidney function is uh, sounds a bit more gruesome, as you know. I don't like needles. Um, they they essentially um, they inject some dye into you, and then they take a blood test every hour for four hours um, to to see how quick it's got rid of it. I know it's all routine. I know it's all stuff I've got to have done. So you know, although. The news is fantastic. Uh, there's still little bits to do. Um, I think I'll feel happier once the chemo's been done, and I'm um, uh, you know, feeling good after after the following two weeks. After that, um, there's no adverse effects to you in terms of hair loss. It's just a case of it'll make you feel like shit. So that's my update. It's amazing news, but at the same time, in the way it's delivered with all other stuff, you sort of like, oh well, okay, but. Nevertheless, I know there's people out there who aren't getting amazing news and there's people out there still fighting. So um, my inner excitement is amazing and close friends, everyone's buzzing. But my whole perspective on life is there is people still out there not as lucky as me. And um, they need your help. They need everyone's help. So I'm going to set up a Just Giving page and I'm going to get money together and, and I'll probably do it for the rest of my life donating and, and raising money because the care I've had has been fantastic um, but there's people out there who still need it so um, thanks for listening and I will check in obviously the videos no doubt will um, dwindle away a little bit I will try and keep you guys posted with different things such as how the chemo goes and how I feel um, all in all it's been a mammoth four weeks um, in four weeks, I've been diagnosed with the thing I didn't, ha I didn't know I had, treated, recovered, and told I've got the oculate. It's been just 
crazy, crazy, crazy part of my life. Um, but thanks for the support, thanks for watching, and um, I'll check in again soon. I just want to fill you in with, with what happens and where I'm up to in my life and my story. And, and like I said, if it helps, then amazing. All right, thanks, guys.